Hello, in this lesson I want to explore the idea of lead processing. Leads are uh, types of low quality or uh, prospect information that very often an organization will want to be able to hold separately from the main opportunity information. Uh, and this can come into an organization through many different mechanisms. So uh, we can imagine that uh, you might have trade show information that is uploaded after the event through a data import. Uh, you can be taking inquiries over the phone. They may actually be coming in through the website. Uh, they may also be ways in which they're automatically processed through email. So there's lots of different ways in which lead information, uh, prospect information that needs to be qualified comes into the organization. And we also have things like web to lead mechanisms that can bring the data into the screen. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to make sure that I'm looking at CRM. Uh, you can see that I've logged on as uh, a user uh, into the system. This happens to be a user called Susan May. And I can go and look at uh, the uh, information about a lead entity. So these are existing leads that I'm going to look for. And I'm going to look for leads that are currently in progress. Uh, you can see that very similar to all other data within the system, we have this concept that data exists in different statuses um, or and stages. Because um, Sage CRM is all about the processing of data from um, a, an early point through to its completed life cycle. There's a workflow associated with this entity. So if I have a look at uh, one of these companies, I'm going to have a look at, uh, let's have a look at British Trading. We can see that uh, this has come in. Uh, originally, it was a European uh, account. Uh, that's okay. We can say that British Trading actually uh, is, a, is, is multi offices. So although the lead has come in from one particular territory, we might actually find ourselves putting it into a different territory when uh, it's moved into being an actual opportunity. Now, how it's come into the system, as I said, it could have come in through because we've um, uh, actually manually entered this into the system. We could uh, have uh, imported the system, to the imp imported the lead into the system. But once it's here, we can now uh, change the data in any way that we like. Uh, we can see that some information is locked. Uh, that's very similar to the idea that uh, in most entities which are governed by workflow, you'll see that some information can only be controlled through the workflow process. Uh, I can change other information as need be. And now you can see that it's governed by workflow, so I can start to uh, create um, information associated with it. So I can uh, rate the lead if necessary. Uh, I can change this in any way that I want to, uh, pulling in the information in when when the uh, indication of the time frame, etc., is going to come in. And I can mark, start making these, these changes. And of course, anything that is governed through workflow would be shown up within the tracking tab. So you can see there I've started to do those. I can, I can do other things with this lead as well, including, uh, if necessary, creating tasks and, and opportunities, uh, sorry, tasks and appointments. So if I imagine I, I actually ring, rang the person, so rang to check details uh, here. So I've checked details and confirmed. So I can choose save there. And this is then a, a communication that is associated with this uh, record. I can do all of the things that we'd normally expect to be able to do. I can send emails, I can send and generate documents, I can upload further, uh, further files associated with this, as well as entering in uh, other information that I needed to. But if I get to a certain point where uh, this now is, I'm certain that this company exists, the details are all correct, I can then take this record and I can start to move it into being a position where it's not just a lead, but it's actually a contact within the system and actually an opportunity that uh, needs to start thinking, uh, needs to start forming part of our pipeline. So I can add or find this company. And you can see that uh, what's happened here is that uh, it's detected that uh, this company doesn't yet exist inside the system. So it is quite happy to bring across the information. And you can see that we're being prompted for to enter any other inf mandatory information that uh, we might need to enter at this point. So let me just put the details in here. 
and you can see that I've entered in the details one main road and that's the other mandatory information that we need to store at this point. I'm going to save that so we've entered the information I can select this as being the uh, record that we want to associate uh, our lead with inside uh, Sage CRM that's our, our uh, contact and you'll notice that it's matched therefore to now a company called British Trading and also a contact called Aidan Worm Wormold. Um, this allows us at this point to convert to an opportunity. I wouldn't be able to convert a lead into an opportunity without there being a matched existing company. So I can now convert to an opportunity and you can see that it's inheriting across the information. Now some information is matched as we do this and there are other lessons that describe the way in which matching is carried out. So let me just uh, fill in the details here. So this is, uh, this is an example lead uh, and we can choose save. And this information is then saved into the system. Oh, uh, no, we can see that there are some mal validation uh, checks being carried out here. Uh, and so I can add in the necessary information for the close by date and the certainty that I want to use to save this record. It then falls into the position of being governed by workflow within the opportunity. Uh, and uh, it's now uh, our choice to be able to attach it to the opportunity workflow that we want. So I can accept that and it's now being processed uh, within the context of the opportunity workflow. Before I move on and leave the, uh, this little lesson, I just want to point out that the opportunity that we carried across is also carried across. So we get a complete record of the details that were uh, carried out, all the contacts are carried out, and it's now assumed that the contact is going to be maintained within this context. So the opportunity and the company are uh, being discussed here in this environment. If I go back to uh, the summary screen, uh, we'll also be able to uh, look at the idea of the associated lead. I can go and view the lead and return back to the originating lead. If ever I am reporting on this lead uh, and I find it uh, and it is a matched lead that has been promoted into being an opportunity, I will be able to then uh, pursue that opportunity. You notice as well the, uh, the workflow uh, for the processed and uh, escalated uh, or promoted opportunity no longer exists. So I go back into viewing the opportunity. So that's the way in which we can process and handle a lead and turn it into an opportunity.